In this tutorial we're going to be setting up a free Ventrilo server and I know I said free and your econ teacher always said oh no there's no such thing as free this is actually free so let's get started there's going to be a few things that we need to download so you're going to need to download the Ventrilo server we're going to want Linux go ahead and say I agree that'll go ahead and download you also need FileZilla and PuTTY for PuTTY, you're going to need PuTTY as well as PuTTY Gen. Once you get those, let's head on over to Amazon's web services at aws.amazon.com. If you don't have an account already, go ahead, sign up. You can use your existing Amazon account. They link it. And once you get that all set up, we're going to go to AWS Management Console. We're going to go to EC2. and we're going to choose our region. For me, I'm going to choose Northern California for where I want the server to be run from. And we're going to go ahead and do launch instance. And for this we're going to say tutorial server, if I can spell. I'm going to do create new key. We're going to say tutorial. We're going to want Amazon Linux and it wants us to download that key before it goes and sets it up so download that go ahead and click continue and you're going to want to make sure that this is set to micro that way Amazon makes you a free little cloud server so we're going to go ahead and launch that so our server is now getting all set up and launched perfect and while that's getting set up, we're going to go over to security groups and notice that this says quick launch 2 for security groups. So we're going to edit this guy. Go to inbound. We want to set a custom TCP rule. We're going to set the default port for Ventrilo, which is 3784. Go add rule. And we're also going to do the same for UDP. Go ahead and apply those rule changes. You can head back to the dashboard and the instance. Alright, so while that's getting set up, let's get our passwords and pass keys all set up. So we're going to go ahead and get our pass keys set up. So if you type putty gen and start, we're going to go ahead and load that file that we downloaded earlier. And it's going to say successfully imported, yada, yada, yada. OK. Now your key passphrase is going to be your password for logging into this server. So go ahead and choose a password. Mine's just going to be password. And we're going to go save private key. Make sure SSH to RSA is selected. I'm going to save this as tutorial. Now exit out of this guy and launch your regular putty and here's where we're going to need the IP address so here is our specific IP we're going to save this as tutorial and also go to SSH auth and browse for that file that we saved earlier. There we go. Open that guy on up. Go back to session. And we're also going to want to do, let's see here, auto login username. We're going to do ec2 dash user. And save that guy and open. And it's going to ask if you want to save the server's host key. And just go yes. And remember that password that we made earlier. We're going to type in that same one. And look at that. We're under our server. So right now we don't have anything in here, which is what we want since it's a brand new server. And now we're going to run over to FileZilla. Now in FileZilla, we're going to have to do a new site paste in that same IP address, port 22.
going to use secure file transfer protocol and normal. We're going to do ECT to user and that same password that we had created earlier. We go OK. And we also need to go to edit settings, secure FTP, add key file, desktop, and load that tutorial private putty key. And click yes. And enter that same password. Click OK. And then we're going to want to save it again, so just say tutorial file Zilla. And click OK. And now we can access our server. So once we're connected, we're going to just upload this new file. And we're going to hop back over to PuTTY, do an ls command. We see that our file is now here, so we're going to do tar dash xvf ventrilo file. That's going to unpack it. You can see that we now have a vent serve folder. We're going to cd over to that. And we're going to vim into ventrilo srv.ini. And this is all your server's settings. So if you don't know how to use vim, it's fairly straightforward. Go to where you want to interact with it or enter some text, hit I, and just start typing away. So we're going to say tutorial server. Phonetic tutorial server as well. And admin password, we'll say password. If you want to add a password just to the server, you can do it here. And other than that, we look good to go. So you're going to hit escape to get out of insert mode. And hit shift colon W. And that will write it out. And then shift colon Q to quit. And now if you do dot slash and Trello server. It is now running. So if we open Ventrilo over here, get a new server, and copy in our IP address that Amazon gives us again, same default port number, click OK. It's going to say a server is available, and we're going to click Connect. And as you can see, it says that we have now connected you're all set up and ready to go. Disconnect, there you go. So once you have that set up, we have one small thing that we still need to fix. So if you're connected to the server and you close out your terminal, and yes, yes, we want to close, we lose the actual server. So it doesn't keep running. So quick and easy way to fix that is open up PuTTY again and load that saved session up login and what we're going to do is we're going to install screen and it's going to say we need to be root so we're going to go sudo and say yes it is now completed so what screen does is it allows you to keep running programs even though your terminal is not open so what we're going to do is we're going to go screen dash capital S and we're going to save it and serve. So we are now in a new screen within the server and we're going to ls cd over to event server and run it. So we are now running and to detach from the screen we're going to press control A and control D. Now that our event server is still up and running we can connect and look what do you know? It's still up and running. So if we ever want to get back to that screen, we can go screen R. And it's going to automatically connect to the only screen that's running right now. And we can see that, hey, person connected. 
and oh, hey, they left. Well, that is the end of the tutorial, so I hope you guys all learned something and enjoyed watching. See you next time.